Hello again. Um, I'm Dave Siegel, and um, I know at the end of the lecture four in the Introduction to Empirical Methods series of, of video lectures, I said that was the end of them. However, I was recording a series of lectures for my class this fall, introducing students to um, game theory, offering them a very brief introduction to game theory. And I thought these lectures could be useful as well as a supplement to what we covered in lecture one of the Introduction to Empirical Methods course um, in, lecture, in lecture one, module four, when we discussed formal theories, and what, they, what they were and how they were useful. This series of 10 modules is supplemental to that in that it provides um, additional details of the variety of methods that individuals might use in use, doing formal theory and provides you with sort of an introduction to using game theory yourself. The focus is largely at, on a sort of mostly non-mathematical introduction to game theoretic concepts at the undergraduate level. It doesn't cover anything, everything by far. Um, it just sort of covers the, the beginning part of, of learning about game theory, plus a little extra um, talking about behavioral assumptions that are derived from psychological concepts, use, their use in game theory, as well as a little on bounded rationality, both because the course for which this, these lectures are, are, were designed um, is a course in experimental political science in which we focus some on um, testing game theoretic uh, models in the lab. And um, there we want to see potentially deviations from the game theoretic predictions. Anyway, um, there are 10 modules, as I said. The information is on my website, as you can see. Um, and if you go to my website, and that's basically it. I hope you enjoy. Um, the 10 modules comprising this lecture on game theory. Thank you very much for watching.